I'm so excited. When people think of Roppongi, they imagine very posh scenes, high-end shopping, and fancy clubs. But when I think of Roppongi, I have one building in mind. The Roppongi Hills Mori Tower. Today, I'm going to be taking you to one of my absolute favorite view decks here in Tokyo. It's not free, but trust me, it's definitely worth it. My name is Hannah, and this is What You Hannah Do, Roppongi Hills. What you hannah do, what you hannah do when they come for you? In this video, I'll be focusing on this building and what surrounds it. Roppongi Hills Mori Tower was completed in 2003 and was the centerpiece of the Roppongi Hills urban development. Roppongi Hills is a very chic and upscale city complex only a minute walk away from Roppongi Station. But with my short legs, it takes about two to three minutes. The area has apartments, restaurants, offices, a hotel, an observation deck, an art museum, and more. Sometimes, even small-sized live concerts are held here because it's so close to TV Asahi, one of the five major TV stations in Japan. At the center of this complex is Mori Tower, a 54-story mixed-use skyscraper. It is 238 meters, or 781 feet for all of our American friends out there, please get on the metric system, which makes it the sixth tallest building in Tokyo, eighth if you include Tokyo Skytree and Tokyo Tower. The exterior was designed by Con Peterson Fox Associates PC, and according to their website, the design has an origami, helmet, and armor motif that evokes Japanese tradition, which is really, really cool. Since the pandemic, they made sure to limit the amount of people that go up to the view deck, so you have to choose your time slots in advance. They shortened their hours as well. I came in early just to soak in the area, and then went up to the view deck when it was time. Tickets are priced at 1,800 yen for the indoor view deck, plus another 500 yen if you want to go up to the open air view deck on the rooftop. I can't wait to show you the view. Are you ready? I decided to come up here at around 2.30 in the afternoon so I could show you what the view looks like midday. But personally, I believe the ideal time to come here would be around 4.30. So you could see the view during the day and then wait for the sunset and then relish the night view. I say this is my absolute favorite view deck in Tokyo because you can see all the landmarks from this building. You can see the beautiful Tokyo Tower, the extremely tall Tokyo Skytree, Mount Fuji, and even the Japanese Alps. Some people ask me why I prefer this view over the view from Tokyo Sky Tree or Tokyo Tower. That's pretty easy to answer. I love how Tokyo Sky Tree and Tokyo Tower look, and if I'm in them, I can't see them. Actually, Mori Tower was unrivaled for me until the Sky Deck in Shibuya opened in 2019. I don't want it to be a competition though, I just think, woohoo! Now I have two favorite view decks! Anyway, I came up at 2.30 and really wanted to wait until the evening, so I decided to take a short break and have a snack at a cafe. There are two restaurants in Tokyo City View, the sun and the moon. Unfortunately, the moon was closed for renovations, so I went to the sun instead. Not that I prefer the moon to the sun or anything like that. I ordered a sandwich and a drink set, and it was a little expensive. 
it was 2,540 yen for the set, an extra drink, and the 500 yen cost for the table beside the window. Honestly, the sandwich was okay. But with this view, everything tasted better. Tokyo City View has a small souvenir shop too. They have some pretty cool merch and also some seasonal ones from different artists. After having that snack and going through the gift shop, golden hour finally came. I decided to go up to Sky Deck, the open air view deck on the rooftop. First, buy your ticket at the ticket vending machine. Go through these really cool doors and leave your things at a locker. Make sure you have a 100 yen coin with you because you need it to open one. They will only let you bring certain things, like your phone and your camera, as it is a precaution against having your stuff fly away and never being seen again. Yes, we are now at the rooftop of Mori Tower. Look at this view. Is it stunning? This view definitely screams Tokyo. A little on the right, can you see a bit of the ocean? That's Odaiba. Have you ever been to Odaiba? It's another awesome place in Tokyo. Do you want me to make a video about it? Let me know. This view. All I could think about was, what? I live here? Wow. Ta-da! The famous Tokyo Tower. I really, really love how bright red Tokyo Tower is. I can't get enough. Since from this building, Tokyo Tower can be seen on its east side, the sunset will be on the other side, the Shibuya side, so let's go over there. Speaking of Shibuya, have you seen my Shibuya video? Please watch it if you haven't seen it yet. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway, it was pretty cold that day, but the weather was perfect to see the sunset. Wow, must be tiring to be standing there all day. I thought, would I be tired from standing here all day? With this view? Nah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> sorry again. Anyway, please enjoy the sunset. Are you enjoying the sunset? Here are some photos. Ugh, I think I need more practice taking photos. Any tips for night photography and videography? Teach me please. Anyway, I hope you love the view as much as I did. And if taking for a view is really not your thing, I still recommend going around the Pongi Hills. It's really, really beautiful, especially at night, and the illuminations really come alive. So that was a bit of Rapongi Hills and a whole lot of Tokyo City view. I know it's great to see it on video, but it's nothing compared to when you see it and experience it firsthand. But I still hope you like this video. I love this building. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, click like down below. And if you want to see more content about Japan, you know what to do. So until next time, Janet, and see you in the next video.